what's going on guys this is the operating systems exam time special video tutorials created by the hub network uh, so let's get it started this is the second video uh, of the entire series the first one was the introduction video in this video uh, we will basically learn about uh, what uh, the secondary storage structure is and uh, uh, we will uh, study about uh, what disk scheduling algorithms are uh, disk formatting and management of boot blocks and swap spaces uh, disk reliability and stable storage structure uh, so let's get it started let me create clear the screen so what is a disk structure this structure uh, provides bulk storage for modern computer modern computer systems as you might know hard disk uh, that's there in your computer uh, uh, that's a, a kind of disk structure and in primitive days we used to use a magnetic tape disk uh, it was used earlier but it was quite slow as you might know that uh, you might have seen those cassettes uh, in which we had to uh, record the songs um, but it was a uh, kind of um, uh, serial storage that if you have to access the third song you have to go through the first and second song so it was slow uh, then came uh, then came in the disk structure which re replaced much of the uh, uh, primitive magnetic tapes uh, nowadays uh, another ty uh, kind of storage which is fast replacing all uh, disk structure and magnetic tapes is the uh, static storage or uh, pen drives as you might be able to visualize or SSD uh, data cards uh, that are fast replacing uh, disk uh, totally so in this uh, video uh, we will uh, learn about a uh, disk conversion uh, the algorithms used to write on the disk uh, so what is disk conversion disk conversion is basically a conversion of logical blocks logical blocks is uh, uh, the information is stored in logical blocks and it is mapped to uh, sectors of disk you'll find these logical blocks in uh, the primary storage uh, that is the ram uh, of the computer and this will be mapped to the sectors of uh, the disk this is called a uh, disk conversion so let me clear the screen and uh, let me uh, uh, just highlight the difficulties of disk conversion so what are the difficulties in disk conversion first uh, first the very very basic uh, difficulty we face is defective sectors uh, you you might have uh, noticed that uh, in a normal day you write quite a few uh, data uh, on your hard disk you uh, download pictures you delete them you then again store uh, um, new uh, new emails new letters new notepad documents new uh, paintbrush uh, files etc so uh, over a period of time since these uh, disks are physical uh, kind of uh, rotating disk structures so they uh, they uh, undergo wear and tear and uh, you might encounter quite a few defective sectors so defective sectors uh, are uh, a kind of difficulty that is uh, faced in uh, disk conversion second is non uniform distribution of sector now let me just explain what uh, i mean by this non uniform um, non uniform structure disk structure so this is a, a very a basic uh, type of uh, disk structure uh, structure this is a type of disk structure you will encounter the source uh, th this image has been taken from wikipedia which is of course free and uh, uh, what you notice is this this uh, this very uh, basic uh, thing you notice here is uh, this this entire thing you are seeing here is a simple disk from your hard disk and uh, over here you uh, you have this spindle uh, which rotates uh, around its axis and therefore this uh, disk rotates what you see here uh, these uh, triangular sections these are called sectors uh, each uh, each disk is composed of very much tracks these these are tracks this uh, 
the highlighted A A part is the track. The highlighted B part is the sector. What you see is so. Uh, th this is the basic disk structure. Uh, there are uh, two type of uh, uh, disk velocity or rotation uh, uh, movements. Uh, one is CLV, CLV or constant linear velocity. In constant linear velocity, uh, what I uh, access uh, uh, over here, over this uh, se uh, sector. Uh, the speed which I encounter here is the same speed which I encounter here. So when the head moves from uh, this area to this area, the speed of the disk slows down. So we achieve a constant linear velocity. Uh, in the other part, we have a constant angular velocity in which the disk keep rotating uh, at a constant pace, but we encounter a uh, different type of uh, 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 different uh, velocity for e each uh, sector suppose if the disk is rotating at uh, 60 rpms so you'll uh, uh, encounter more number of sectors per uh, per second over here uh, but over here you'll encounter less number of uh, sectors per per second so this is a basic disk structure in the next video i'll be briefing you about the algorithms and all so see you in the next video Thanks for stopping by. Uh, do subscribe to the channel and also visit edu.hubcentral.in for last year question papers and ebooks, etc. And also uh, do comment uh, if you have any query or uh, any suggestions. Thanks.